and welcome back to Animal Lover. <laughs> I seriously can't get enough of this scene. Um, last time we, well, we had no luck finding any new guys, and well, our um, guys um, got hungry, and now we are at a burger place, and Edmund is in the bathroom using our oh, new technology for the first time. Ah, oh, you seriously need to watch the end of the last episode. It is amazing. I I I love this scene, and it still continues. So maybe there's still more. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's see. Um, yeah, maybe not as convenient as paper towels, but still convenient. The air starts to blur <laughs> loudly inside the restroom. At least he found the button. There, the air is getting hotter. It stopped. One second. And now <laughs> another loud blaring. And then it ends. And begins again. And ends. Silence. Edmund walks out of the bathroom, wiping his hands on his pants. That was weird. Yeah, it's weird. Are all faucets in the future like that? Nope, not just the ones in restaur restaurants. Weird. Yep, let's get going. Sure. Uh, rally your party to the counter. Going Frankie and Kyle outside. Mm, well, they do want to eat, so let's... Did we not eat? What? Huh? Did I miss something? Alright, we just jumped. Alright. One last place. That adoption we're talking about? Yeah, there's a pet adoption event just a couple of blocks from here and then that's it. Except the zoo. <clears throat> except is except uh, the zoo. Okay, except the zoo. I'm still skeptical about the zoo. So when then what do we do? We can't find anyone at this adoption or the zoo, and there's no one left to help us. Don't ask me that right now, Edmund. Please don't ask me that. Edmund averts his eyes from me. I think he's as scared of that outcome as I am. I am even more afraid of finding someone who can't help us, or another cow. I can deal with one cow, but I hope there aren't two cows. Well, there's no hoping. Sure, there's... here's to hoping. Oh. <laughs> Alright, it's two hoping, not no hoping. Yep. Um, they're holding the animal adoption outside today, that's kind of nice. It's a nice day. <clears throat> yeah, cool. We all pile out of the car. The moment we get out of the car, everyone perks immediately. I could swear I actually saw Frankie's ears lift. Did you guys find someone? Totally. I totally feel it. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, he's this way. We all start walking. I'm following behind us the three guys, almost autonomous. Autonomously, uh, 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 autonomously move. They move on their own. All right. They stop at the cage of a dog. I love these kinds of eyes. A big grey dog with heterochromia of the uh, of the eyes. Yeah, heterochromia eyes. I love them. I love them. His head is perked up over a small, chest-high fence. He's staring at us intently. I think I'm starting to get what Edmund had meant about the unmistakable spark of intelligence. That might just be how all these look when you look hard enough. <clears throat> but he's looking us in the eyes. Is that the unmistakable spark of intelligence? Or is he just looking at me because I'm the most interesting thing around right now? <clears throat> You guys weren't kidding. This is absolutely a dude. 
you guys see that it's a guy too, don't you? I do. I repeat, absolutely a dude. How on earth do you guys know that? I just do. Same. Yeah. I'd put money on that being a guy. Alright then. What's your name, little guy? The tag on his fans said his name was Rocky Road. What's that for? Who named him? The poor guy. You can call him Rocky. Alright, but Rocky Road? <sighs> there was a little white on Rocky Road's face, but was um, otherwise colored as standard brown. A name for a dog. Adventurous though, I like it. Yeah, like the ice cream. What? Rocky Road is a flavor of ice cream. Uh, what? E. that sounds... Oh, that sounds so gross. <clears throat> Chocolate and marshmallow. What is a marshmallow? Whoa! Oh my god! We'll definitely pick up some marshmallows, guys. No worries. It felt strange saying that. I'm not excited about spending more money. But yeah, Edmund has to try marshmallows. So then, Rocky Road. Ready to go home? Rocky Road was cooperative the entire time home. He sat next to Cal. It's a little weird, though. <clears throat> I maintain that it isn't. It's a guy, but still very much a dog. But there's a guy in there. <clears throat> if you look inside of Rocky Road right now, you will find the organs and heart of a dog. <laughs> Edmund, Edmund, come on! You should know what he means. <clears throat> and what happens when Kaja kisses him? And then he becomes human. He's not currently human. I don't care. I'm not patting him. Just pet the stupid dog. Uh, look, he wants to be pet. It's true. Rocky Road has been staring up at Kyle this entire time. Kyle pet him once on the way over and then got weirded out. Come on, Kyle. He's so cute. No. Just kiss him. What? Like, just do it. I've got the clothes, and we see he seems much more friendly than Kyle was. No offense. I was overstimulated, admittedly. Can we at least wait until we are home? Yeah, sure. Rocky Road pounces out of the car excitedly and waiting for us at the door. He did display a surprising amount of intelligence. He knew where we were. Blah blah, blah 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 blah. He knew where we were going. Well, we were more, more, more. All right. He knew where we were going, but pa waited patiently. We got ourselves into the backyard. Frankie was scratching behind his ears when I finally checked every room in the house to make sure no one was home. See, he's like being pet. He's li he, he likes being pat. Oh, I don't deny that he likes being pat. That was never my quandary. I just don't usually pat guys. And he's a guy. I guess I kind of see what you mean. Alright, let's free this guy. I was a for whistle for Rocky Road's attention. His ears perk up immediately, immediately and he rushes towards me. Even loyal dogs don't turn their attention as quickly as this one. I found myself patting his ears for a moment. It's just gonna turn into his. It's just gonna turn into another hot guy. <clears throat> My voice. Come on. Let me drink something real quick. I'm sorry. <clears throat> All right. Should work. Uh, something's going to go wrong, and he's going to be really attractive. I mean, right now, he's a cutie pie. Love bundle. Fluffy monster. Sugar bunch. Alright, we got it. Slubber based? What? 
What do you mean what? Wait, was I saying all that out loud? Yep. Oh. Okay. Well, here goes nothing. I say softly to myself as I plant a kiss right on his big sloppy nose. I could have chosen a less gross place to kiss him. As it had happened before, the dog's eyes widen and his body begins to change. His hair begins to recede and, and flesh begins to show through. Yeah. <laughs> What's weird this time is how much bigger he's getting. This pile of flesh is in minute. Huh? Is in minute. Min minute. Min minute. Like Kylo Edmund. And unlike Frankie, he's growing lar larger from nothing. From something that was already large. I'm feeling more intimidated than I was expecting to. Almost scared. Until he appears. A large, athletic man. Very strong. Sculpted like a bodybuilder. But his face is calm. Soft. His eyes bright and knowing. As naked as naked could be. Pa for the course. His shock of coming, uh, of coming to human forms almost immediately eclipsed by his shock at being naked. Ah, what's wrong with this writing so far? Somehow they changed it. Oh, voices, right. <coughs> Chapter 4 Miguel Castellanos. Well, he should get Frankie's voice. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> mm. No, I does a Spanish accent actually sound. I should look that up. <laughs> Still, I have to think about something. Mm, Alright, we gave the original. Excel pack of clothing to Frank, sorry. <clears throat> um, yeah, still no clue what voice I should give him. Um, no, it's perfectly fine. This is really very comfortable. Really. Absolutely. <clears throat> Your name again was Kalja. Nice to meet you, I am Miguel. So, what exactly is going on here? Well, you were a dog. No, what do you mean by now? What do you mean by I was a dog? I mean that you were a dog. You were in the body of a dog and we transformed you back. All of these guys here were animals and now they're human, just like you. Wait, you mean literally a dog? Yeah, you were a literal dog. Oh, oh no. What? You're right, I was a dog. It's all very blurry. I was a dog. I've, I've been a dog for at least a couple of years. I had an owner, and I ate dog food. I peed on the carpet once and they got mad. Yeah, okay. And whenever I would, well, yes, I was a dog. And I'm back now. You are. What year is it? It's 2017. What year do you remember last? It, wow. 1994. Oh. One year before I was born, all right. <laughs> <clears throat> Yesterday was March 19th, 19th, 
Do you remember anything about how you got changed? I might. Really? Yeah, maybe it's all very blurry. I remember looking upward and... Ah! I... Oh no! Oh no! What? What happened? It's... They were... Someone was trying to hurt me. What? Who? I don't know. I don't know who they were. Uh, the, but they were angry. They were really mad at me and... And their eyes started to glow. I turned around to the others, catching them in the middle of worried, concerned expressions as I did. Is any of... Of this ringing a bell to any of you? I don't think so, no. Mm, no. I... a little bit. It's coming to me. I can't tell. It. They had... I think they had black hair. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Black hair and... 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 It's like my memory's been blocked. Same. It's like it hurt trying to remember the black hair. I said black hair, right? Yeah. Okay. My head hurts too. And I'm so confused. Can I use your restroom? <laughs> Go right ahead. Frankie points him towards the bathroom. I sit down, sighing through my nose. It's actual progress. Now we know that there's a specific person behind this. Guys? They all perk up and look at me, waiting for me to talk. Do you know anyone who might have it in for you? No one that really would still be alive right now. I mean, anyone. Any information you could uh, could help right now. Oh. I never got along with my brother, Philip. He sabotaged my party. I called him a Judas. Judas. Judas would be the German pronunciation. And he never spoke to me again. But I don't even think he'd do this to me. I can't think of anyone. The police. I don't think the police had anything to do with this. Me neither. We'll ask this new guy when he's out of the bathroom. Hey, Kaja? Yeah, Frankie? I think uh, before we do that, we gotta ask ourselves the really tough question. Which is... Versi going to sleep? Oh. Right. Yeah. I might have to start asking for help. My friend Katie's got kind of a big house. Maybe she could... Sh 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 <laughs> spare? Spare a room for a little bit? I don't know. No, no, that sounds like a good idea. Have you considered squatting? I actually have, but I'm not that desperate yet, Carl. It's free. Yeah, it's free. I know. <clears throat> oh, that was Edmund's voice. That was more Edmund's voice than, um, than was mine. All right, again. Doesn't matter. The bathroom door opens. Miguel walks back into the room, his clothes still fitting on him like a glove. Eight sizes too small. Hey, Miguel, feeling any better? I never mentioned that I was sick. But, yeah, I am. Miguel opens his mouth to speak for a second, then retracts. An awkward silence happens as we wait for Miguel to speak. Then nothing. After half a second more, he finally speaks. I'm not sure I got your names. Okay, guys, roll call? What? Just... I don't know, I was trying to be cute. Introduce yourselves. I'm Kaja. Edmund the Seventh. Frankie. Carl Young. I may have already said so, but I am Miguel Castellanos. And I'll end it here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy whatever you're doing. 
Bye.